How's it going? It's Mike from MPC Stuff. Right now we're going to install the new uh, thick fat pads for the MPC Renaissance. Uh, first things first on the Renaissance you're going to do is uh, you're going to look at your back panel here and we're going to get the bottom screws out. Um, you see all these screws here? They're all going to come out on the bottom panel. So I'm going to go ahead now I'm going to take those out. All right, now that we have all the bottom ones out, you're going to see, just like I was trying to show you before, on the back side, you'll have two here and two here we're going to pull out. These are holding that back piece casing and the top panel on. Now we've got that last one out here that's going to give our bottom panel um, is now has the ability to come off. When you're pulling it off, be careful. Underneath you're going to see there's some ribbon cables that are attached. This one right here is attached on this side. What I usually do is I keep it attached on this side. Um, here, this is actually going to end up coming off, so I'm going to take it off here. Um, rather than take it off on here, I'm going to keep all the cables on the side with the panel. So we're going to pull this out. It just pulls right out. Um, and remember when you put it back in that the blue side is going to go up. So we're going to pull that out. And then we have the boards back here. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything and keep the cables on this side here. So I'm going to pull this one out. This one doesn't pull directly out. It has a little clip. You're going to pull that clip up. You're going to see a little black portion of a clip that's around um, the white part. So you're going to pull those two clips upward right here. It's kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. There. And then this will pull out. And remember this one also, you have the blue side is going to be facing up to you. Now that I have that out, I'm going to take this one off here. Remember where these all go. This gray cable goes here. That's going to pop out here. And there's a cable right here. It goes on the bottom side, the black one. Pull that out. That way this is loose. This one is the only one that we're going to keep on the inside board. So we're going to pull this out here and leave it with the inside of the board. Um, so now our back panel is almost loose. We have two more right here, which pull out here and here. These ones will also stay the opposite side where they stay in the board. Doesn't really matter which way you do it. Um, these ones obviously have to stay in the board because you're, the other side's on the front. So now we got everything loose here. So now we have our front panel separated from our back panel. Um, it's not, you know, to get these off, I guess it wouldn't be 100% necessary to pull this back panel off. But it's a lot easier to work with everything and get all these boards out to get the uh, pads in by doing it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, other panel aside. And now we're going to work right here and get these pieces out. You're going to see there's a lot of silver screws. They have little arrows pointing to each one. You're going to need to take those out. Uh, firstly, we're going to get this kind of up out and underneath here kind of out of our way. This I'm going to take off first. This one has different screws than the rest of the screws that are in the Renaissance. So you'll see here, 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 and here, you have these black screws. So what I always do is when I take those black ones out, I put it in a separate area, or sometimes you can even keep it in the tray like I'm going to show you here. I'm going to take each one out, but I'm not going to completely pull it out. I'm going to leave it available in this tray. That way when I put it back on, I know that's where they went. Uh, be careful, there's little holes here that they can fall out of the tray, so just make sure when you're pulling this tray out. Oh, sorry, there's one right here too that I forgot. And those kind of stay with the tray. Just make sure when you pull this off and you put it aside that you don't lose any. 
All right, now we're down to the board here. You can see this is where the LCD screen goes in. Um, I suggest just taking it out to get it out of your way for right now uh, because this board's gonna have to come up to put the board, uh, the pads in. So we're gonna pull that aside. This is gonna have to come off because this board is here. So I'm gonna take these two out. Excuse me. little pegs come off make sure you save these and then this is going to pull up and out because it has the things on the front we're going to go ahead and put this aside for now uh, now now we're at the point where we can get this board out so we can install the pads this is one thing that's a little bit tricky over here you're going to see right here is a grounding strap it's attached right here i'll show you again when we put it back together to make sure you put this back where it was i'm going to pull out this one first, just so I remember that the strap is here. You can push this kind of against it, that way you don't lose this strap in this area. We're gonna go ahead and take them all out. You'll have two screws that are a little different, so I always take those out first. They're right here and they have these little, it almost looks like a gun revolver around each, uh, each one. Those are the ones that go around the rotary encoder. Take those two out first and I put those aside specially because they have, a, a, the thread pitch is different on them than all the other ones. So we'll put those aside, and we're going to go ahead and get the rest of them out. So like I said, you're going to see little uh, arrows on all these where they're, you know, where you need to take them out. So we're going to get all those out, and then we're going to pull up the board. All right, now I have all my screws out of the backside. And I'm going to flip the unit over. Now here, we need to get all of these um, so I line the camera here. Um, now we're going to need to get all these knobs off. Alright, now that we have these knobs off, you're going to see underneath they have... Uh, nuts here holding them on so we're gonna have to get those off that way the board will come through on the other side these are 10 millimeter that's what's holding them on so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter uh, socket um, I have mine attached to the gun here so They're easier to get off uh, obviously most of you most of you will be doing this with hand tools um, just to make it a little easier obviously for us how I'm going to do it here, make it a little faster for the video also. Make sure when you put these back on that you don't over tighten them. Um, the base of this is only made of plastic, so it's really nice. And you'll see they have a little uh, washer underneath them. You'll have to pull that washer up, or when you flip the unit over, all the washers will come out, which is fine. Um, as long as you have something underneath you to catch all the washers when they come out. That's how we're going to do it because it's kind of hard to get them off. But if you turn the unit back over, they'll all fall flat into our uh, egg crate here. Oh, sorry, I forgot. These ones are uh, bigger here. So you're going to have to get, I believe it's a 12 millimeter. Yeah, it's a 12 millimeter on these ones here. So now we have those off here, and so you can also see our board is starting to drop on the other side. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the unit back over so we can pull that board up and change these pads out. Make sure, <coughs> make sure we have all these out, and then we'll pull it out. All right, now we've made sure all of our uh, screws are out here. We're just gonna lift up this back panel here. And as you can see, some of the buttons are already on here. If we wanna change out the buttons to our blackout button kit, this is the way we do it. We have all of everything here. You can snap each button out by pressing in here and the button will come right off. So that way you can install the new button kit. 
Um, and now for the pads. You'll see under here, here's our uh, sensors. Um, if we're installing the corks on the sensors, we'll do that. I'll have another video on that, but that's how you get to the sensors if you're installing the corks for sensitivity. As you can see, there's two sides of this. This side is the shiny side, which goes against the pads. This is the dull side, which goes against the board. So shiny side against the pads, dull side up this way. So we're gonna put the pad sensor aside with the board, and now we're finally at our pads. These are the standard uh, thin pads. The MPC stuff thick pads are not only thicker, they're also softer. The shore hardness is a lot softer than these original um, MPC Renaissance pads. So the feel is not only thicker, but you also get a more pillowy feeling of the pad um, because it's a lot softer shore hardness. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and put in our uh, thick pad from MPC stuff and I'll show you all the different colors. And then we'll put the unit back together. All right, so now we're gonna install the red thick pads on here. Um, I've already installed the black buttons uh, off camera, uh, the black button kit on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, red thick pads in. And the thick pads are also actually uh, softer as well. I think I've said that already. And you kinda gotta push them in because they're thicker so it's kinda hard sometimes to get them all in there properly. So once they're in, you'll see that there's holes on each side correspond and the center hole goes right there. Once you have them all down, you can kind of tell, it feels flat. And now we're all set. Um, now we're gonna put our pad sensor back on. Remember, this side, which is the shiny side, is going to go down toward the pads. And then you have the dull side, which is gonna go up like this. So your logo, believe it or not, when you're looking at it, when you're putting it here, you'll see the little logo in the bottom. They're gonna be upside down. You're gonna center that in the middle here. And you'll see it kind of clicks into place when it's in the right spot. So now that we have that there, you'll see there's little holes in the pad and the pads that fit into the holes in the sensor to keep it set. So now it's all set. And we're gonna take our top board and put it back on here. Get this over the top here. Make sure this isn't, sometimes this will kind of get in the way here, so make sure it's not, or your board won't go all the way down. See like right here, it's kind of getting in the way. Gonna move it away. Sometimes it'll be a little tricky getting everything in to set properly, but once it gets in there, you'll kind of feel it. And then what you're gonna do is hold the board like this and check the top, make sure your pads, everything's set. Make sure that this top piece a lot of times doesn't go all the way down. Make sure it's all down in all spots so you see everything is flat on this side and then you're ready to screw in the portions over here. All right, now we're gonna put all our screws back in. Remember, you're gonna put the screws in the areas only where it had the, um, the arrows. And then you also remember over here where the jog wheel is, I have it upside down, I had it over here before, but where the jog wheel is, where the two revolver looking things are, that's where you're gonna put those screws that had the two screws you set aside that had the uh, different thread pitch on them. Um, so then you're gonna go ahead and put all the other ones in. Remember, don't put the ones in here because those are the ones that are being held down by that, that center pad assembly. So I'm finishing up putting the rest of these in. Make sure this one here also has a little revolver looking point. And you'll know what I'm saying when you look at it. Uh, go ahead and put that here. This one does not use the different type of screw, just the two that were over here. And you gotta put, put this back in here. That way you still have your uh, grounding point right here. Uh, we're just about finished. We're gonna put the rest of these in, and now we're gonna go to put the, put the pad holder in. All right, trying not to confuse you guys here, but I'm gonna turn this back over again. And we're gonna put this back on. And remember, we kept all the screws in there from before, and you're gonna see the easiest way is to line up this screw right on this right side here. You'll kind of feel when it clicks in there, 
Boom, now it's set. The one thing you have to make sure when you're putting this in, on the top section here, right under the LCD screen, these three screws can't be screwed in very tightly. If you have them in too tight, your F1 buttons are not gonna press properly. So what I suggest doing is after you put this together, turn the unit back over, test the F1s and make sure they're punching okay. Um, because if you get it too tight right there, it creates a, it kind of clamps down on the F1 buttons and it makes it so the F1 buttons, they don't really have a click push to them. They just kind of feel um, odd. They, they just don't push properly and sometimes they won't even work. So just make sure these don't use any, um, I mean, I never, when I put it back together, I'm not gonna use this anyways, but make sure you just do it hand tight just so it, you start to feel a little resistance and then stop there. That way it's not too tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all these in. You got one here, 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 and here. Put those back on um, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, we got all those in. We tested our F1 buttons, they work. Uh, and now we're gonna put the PCB back. It goes right here. Kind of slide that in here. And these go on here. They have little pegs in them, so you can kind of match it up. Oh, I put it on there, right? There you go. Now you're gonna put your four screws in there, screw that back in, and then we're gonna go to the next step. All right, we're about to seal it back up here. Uh, now that we have those done, everything's all the screws are in, we're going to go ahead and put the back panel back on. So to do so first, the hardest one to get, it's really not very hard, um, but it just doesn't reach completely. So this is going to be the last one we're going to do. Remember, you're going to see this little slot right here. Sometimes it's actually easier to take it out of this back slot here on this board, like this, and then install this one in here and then when you're putting it back put this one back into the board on this side uh, you can do it either way but just make sure when you're doing it you're gonna have the blue side up this is personally I like doing it this way I like having this in this slot here and then do the second one the other board afterward sorry sometimes these things can be hard to get in And this is why I suggest doing this before, is because if you have this board forward here, and you're trying to put this, this one in the slot here, you're gonna have some problems. All right, so we're gonna put all those in. Um, this one also is gonna go with the blue side up. And we're gonna put them all in, blue side up here. And remember, this one has the clip right here, so you're gonna put this one in. Then this, remember the white wire, the solid white wire goes here, the black one goes on the lower portion right here. The black one goes here. And then these two go here. Oops, sorry. These two go on the board here and here. And then once we have those in, we're gonna put the board back and then we're gonna put the uh, screws back in. All right, now we have them all hooked back up. I'll try to see if you can kind of see inside here. Everything's hooked up. Uh, one thing I forgot to say in that last one, make sure you have this ribbon that's on this front panel here. That one attached and going across that black panel like it did when we started. Um, so now we're just gonna go ahead and button up all these on the bottom and screw those in. And put our knobs back on top. And now we have the thick pads installed for the MPC Renaissance, only available at mpcstuff.com. All right guys, we're gonna show you how to install the uh, pad corks for the Kai M uh, MPC Renaissance from mpcstuff.com. Uh, these are available separately and they're also available um, as an add-on additional $10 if you buy our thick pads. Um, we already have the sensor out. You're gonna follow the directions to install the pads and in the pad install video that we have on YouTube, you can see the installation of those pads. You can see when this pad sensor comes out. So we're just gonna show you how to actually put the corks on this sensor um, and then you're gonna re reinstall this with the MPC once you've got the pads out. So this video is not gonna show the actual um, removal, but you can watch the MPC Renaissance thick pad install video and you'll see how this comes out. Um, so now that we have the sensor here, you're gonna notice there's two sides to the sensor. 
One side is gonna be kind of like a shiny side. The black are gonna be shiny. This is a side that's gonna face up to the pads. The pads are gonna sit on top of here. And then there's this underside, which is gonna be, uh, they're gonna be more dull right here. So these dull ones are actually gonna go against the, uh, the PCB board, the sensors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our corks on top of the sensor pad itself, not on the pads. If you put it on the pads, it's not gonna work properly. You want it on this sensor. But make sure you do not put it on the dull side. You're gonna put it on the side that goes against the pads and they're gonna go, the black is just gonna fit just on these like this. So you're gonna take off the adhesive backing. Sometimes it can be a little stubborn to get off. And you're gonna apply just like that. And once you have it on there, you're gonna do it with the next one and so on. I'm not gonna show you how to put all 16 on. You're obviously just gonna line it up and put it up right there in the middle. Uh, so once you have them all on there, you're gonna install this back into your MPC just like it was uh, previously. Um, and you're gonna have the pads will sit on top of where you've put the corks. And then this side, the dull side, is gonna go against the PCB board. So that's how you install the corks. They're gonna give you better sensitivity. Uh, and you'll see in this video now uh, how sensitive they are once they're installed. All right, we've installed the sensitivity corks just in the top four rows here. So just to kind of give you an idea of how they work, I'm brushing this pad here. It does not have a cork. This one does. This one does. This one does. But these won't trigger when I hit them lightly. These ones will because these ones have the corks in them. When I hit them light, the ones that don't have the corks won't. These ones will. So as you can see with the corks, they're more sensitive. We've also installed our thick pads on here too. Um, so they're actually thicker, uh, softer, and they're actually now more sensitive because they come with the corks as well.